This is Yoga Su's 45 minutes restorative yoga class. We begin today on our backs in Shavasana. Either lay down on your back in your regular Shavasana pose or take it into supported Shavasana. In this pose, make use of whatever props you have available to you. Right here, I have a pillow under my head, a bolster under my knees to keep the knees slightly bent so that the low back is nice and comfortable and I have my feet slightly elevated on blocks. These are just options for you. You can lay down perfectly still in your regular Shavasana if you like. So on your back, begin to focus on your breath. Let the breath flow in through the nose and out through the nose in a comfortable and steady rhythm. Soften your facial features and allow your shoulders to relax. Feel your limbs become loose and comfortable, softening your feet and toes. Allow the hips to grow heavy. Allow the limbs to soften. Entire body at ease. As the body begins to settle, start to put aside everything else. Put aside the rest of the day. Allow the mind to become more peaceful as we set aside our list. Things that had happened in the past and things that will happen in the future. Do your very best to remain present and in the moment. Once the body is settled, continue to breathe in and out through the nose. And enjoy this pose. Begin to let go of any tension in the body. Feel tension seep off of you. Start to slip into a comfortable world of restorative yoga. Instead of being in the world of doing, start to move into the world of just being. Be okay with stillness, with calm. Be okay with just being. This is the halfway mark of the pose. A good place to check in with the mind. Has your mind wandered off? Bring it back into the moment without any judgment. Bring it back to breath, to body. A mindful awareness of where you are and what you are doing. Keep practicing the act of bringing your mind back to the moment. Each time the mind wanders, draw it back to breath. And with time, this practice becomes easier.
slowly start to make your way out of this pose. Gently move your fingers and toes as you start to bring sensations back to the body. Start to rotate your wrists and ankles in one direction and switching directions. Just to awaken the body, just to fire up those muscles a little. Perhaps gently let the head drop side to side to stretch out the neck and shoulder muscles. And start to walk the feet in a little closer towards the body. Perhaps hugging the knees into the chest. It will be a great place here to gently rock the knees from side to side. Very carefully and mindfully, begin to roll yourself over to your favorite side, resting in fetal position for one or two deep breaths. We slowly start to make our way up into seated so that we can get ready to come into our next pose, which is supported bridge pose. To do this pose, if you have a strap handy, go ahead and loop it around your calves or your thighs. A strap is not necessary, just a little feeling of support if you are able to wrap it around your legs, just prevents those legs from opening up. Begin this pose by placing a bolster or a pillow under your knee. And then lie down on your back. Press your feet into the mat to lift the hips off the mat and then place the hips on the bolster. I have my legs straightened out here so that I get a deeper stretch to the front of the hip flexors, those muscles right in front of the hips. Sometimes it feels comfortable to place a blanket or a heavy object like a sandbag on the front of your hips to weigh the hips down. If this is uncomfortable keeping those legs straight, be sure to bend your knees and allow yourself to rest in this pose. If you can't quite feel the stretch and would like a deeper stretch, straighten those legs or keep them straight. Once you've set up in this pose, allow the body to settle, hips weighing heavy on your bolster or your pillow. Soften the upper body, relax the face, the shoulders, your cheeks, your jawline. At any time throughout this pose, feel free to adjust for comfort. Sometimes it may feel a little bit more comfortable to place the strap around your thighs instead. You can try doing that. If you have two straps handy, place a strap on your thigh and a strap around your calves. Just because you started a pose one way doesn't mean you have to end it the other way. Anytime throughout the pose, feel free to reset, readjust.
coming into the final minute of our pose. Taking some final few breaths here. And very carefully start to make your way out of this pose. Press down into the feet to lift your hips off of your support. And then shift the bolster or the pillow slightly lower than your hips. Gather the knees into the chest for a little bit of a roll out, rocking your knees side to side or making small circular movements with those knees. Next, we're going to get ready to come into a recline bound angle pose. In this recline position, if you're able to set your bolster or your pillow up in an angle like I'm doing here with some blocks, you can go ahead and do that. It's also okay to have your, your pillow or bolster at a flat angle. We're going to make use of the straps if you have them with you. Set your strap out a little wider so that you can loop the strap around the body. Once you've got it looped around the body at the waist, scoot your hips up close to the bolster or the pillow and then wrap the strap around both feet at the ankles, close to the ankles. Feel free to adjust the strap until you come into a comfortable bound angle position and then let those knees open up. Carefully let the upper body lean back into the bolster so that the bolster is supporting the length of the spine. Arms relax by your side. Close your eyes and breathe deeply. If you would like to get a deeper stretch to the front of the body, into the upper chest, stretch your arms out a little higher, closer towards the shoulder height. Breathe deeply and enjoy.
One more minute in this pose. Check in back with the mind. Make sure you are still present and keep connected to your breath. Final few breaths in this pose. To come out of this pose, carefully bring the knees back together as you unhook the strap from around the feet. Perhaps gently let the knees drop side to side in windshield wiper movement just to relieve any tension in that low back. And carefully roll yourself over to one side and press your way up into seated. We can put aside the strap now as we won't need it for the next pose. We're coming into a child's pose. I have the bolster here at an angle, but you don't have to. If you would like to use a bolster or a pillow flat on the ground, you can do that as well. Make sure that your knees are well padded. You can use a blanket to cushion the knees. As an option, place a pillow or a blanket between your thighs and the calves. This just gives you a little cushioning in that area. Drape the front of the body over the bolster. An option is to wrap your arms around the bolster or just release the hands by the side of the prop. You can place either the forehead on your bolster or one cheek on the bolster instead. I will let you know when we are halfway through so that you can switch to the other cheek and that way your body is even. Allow the hips to sink in towards those heels. Remember to breathe deep into that low back and the inner thighs and find some support and comfort in this very relaxing pose. If you do not like to have your arms wrapped around the bolster or you are uncomfortable with the bolster at an incline, feel free to remove any blocks underneath of that bolster.
we're at the halfway mark of this pose if you have one cheek down on your prop please turn to the other side to take any movements here stretching out those legs in your tabletop position or perhaps even coming into downward facing dog to pedal out the feet we're coming into a final pose which is a leg up against the wall pose in this pose you can use a bolster or pillow right up against the wall or in this case i'm using a blanket right up against the wall this prop is for your hip to rest on so that when you're lying on your back your hips will be a little higher than the heart I'm also going to make use of a strap. If you have two straps with you, you can place a strap on your thigh and a strap on your calves. And this just keeps the legs in place and you don't have to struggle to keep the legs about hips width apart. However, the straps are just an option. Uh, scoot your hips up against the wall as close as you can comfortably get it. And then drape your legs up against the wall. Do your best to keep those legs parallel to one another and as symmetrical as you can get them, but don't stress about it. Mm -hmm. 
Make sure you're comfortable. Make use of any props you have available so that you can find ease in this pose. If you're uncomfortable having your legs up against the wall, prop them up against a chair instead with the knees bent. All we're looking for is a gentle inversion. Once you're here, allow the arms to relax by your sides, close your eyes, and enjoy this very restorative pose. We're at the halfway mark of this pose. Check in back with your mind. Make sure that you have not wandered off. Bring the mind back to the moment, to breath, to body.
free to stay in this pose as long as you wish to. If you're ready to come out of this pose, slide your feet down the wall, hug your knees into the chest, give that a little bit of a rocking from side to side or rolling out. And then carefully roll your way over to one side and very mindfully make your way back up into a seated position. And we're done with our restorative class. Take a moment to just focus on how you're feeling, feeling good in mind and body, feeling renewed and restored. Thank you very much for joining me today. Namaste.